little while since I've recorded. I stopped recording right after I did my body fat and I was just struggling a little. When I started this channel, I never had any thought that it would grow. It was really for some friends. I was out of shape. I had just remodeled this house and I wanted to run 100 miles. I had some friends that were interested, so I started recording videos. So that was its purpose. Soon, it just started to grow. I've always felt that the growth has come from you guys identifying with what I'm going through. I'm in my 40s, I have family, kids, managing work and training and balancing all of those things and the experiences and trying to be really just raw and transparent with everything that I go through. So as the channel grew, it was cool because people started reaching out, products started showing up, and you guys started sending me your stories and leaving comments and telling me about how these videos were affecting you, inspiring you, motivating you, doing your first races, starting a diet, whatever it may be. And that kind of fueled my desire to keep this going. These videos have to be a passion, a labor of love. I'm not making that much money off of this. It's by far not my career. I will never be a YouTuber making a living doing this. I have a full-time job. This, these videos, shooting them, going out of the way to shoot them. Because during training, it requires me to stop, set up cameras, distract from my focus of training to create these videos. So I have to be passionate and have that desire to wanna to make these. Recently, maybe more than recently, the last six months or so, I have slowly lost that passion and drive for wanting to make the videos, the, the purpose. While I love motivating you guys and hearing from you, what for me personally is going to keep inspiring and driving me to do this. Very early on, I realized I wanted to provide value and be able to give back and do something with the money that was being made from this channel. And now it's finally time to do that. At the beginning of this video, there was a logo, Endurus. It's mountains and some water, waves. This is a logo I created. It's a amalgamation of these ideas, this idea that I have. And it's to take this channel, my social media, and to finally put it towards something good or that I feel is good. I've always loved the word endure. One, I'm an endurance athlete, but the idea of enduring. People always ask, why do you do these races? Why do you train? Why do you put your body through that? It's, it's definitely not for accolades. It's definitely not because I am a great athlete by any means. It's about enduring this journey that ultimately is an experience. We live in this amazing world, this planet that has so many beautiful places that you can endure and experience. And that's ultimately what I love. That's why I do this. So Endurus represents this idea of going through a journey in this beautiful place we live and experiencing it. The second thing it represents to me is that the majority of us are extremely lucky in that we have the ability to endure and experience this amazing planet. But for some, they can't endure the beauty of this planet and see and experience the things we can. For some reason, they've been chosen to endure something worse, a disease, a physical ailment, something that inhibits them to be able to do what we can do. So what does all this mean? It means simply that what this channel generates, what my social media generates, the money, the income is going to be focused on something good, something great. So each month I will take those funds that are all in one account and I will donate them to either a charity that is focused on preserving, protecting, saving this planet that we get to endure, that we get to experience. Or I will select a nonprofit that is focused on helping those either through research or through support to help those who cannot experience the planet the way we can. So that's it. 
that's where I'm at. I am back, videos are coming. Thank you to all of you who've been reaching out. Are you okay? What's going on? We missed the videos, when are you coming back? I hear ya, I just needed to figure out, create a plan and put it in motion. All right, I've got to swim. I'm likely gonna be late for. I gotta get out of here. We gotta swim. We got a track workout. And then I'm gonna hit the weights. Let's do it. Well, I am at the pool and finally they are open for reservations and 45 minutes. Ideally, I'd like an hour, but I can always knock out 2,500 yards in 45 minutes. Not ideal, but we are going like old school junior high track. It's gonna get dirty. All right. Well, that is Mike. You've seen Mike before. When was the last time we worked out together? Jeez, that was that one mile. Oh, the one mile. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was a good workout for you. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a real nice workout. Well, today. I, what is this? Rancho Starbuck Rancho is the name of this. Starbuck. Junior high. And uh, the track is in terrible shape. A lot of weeds, a lot of uh, rolling potholes. But uh, we're going to make it work. Fill in some quarter mile sprints or pickups. I don't know if I call them sprints. Yeah. Sprints. I don't, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to call them sprints <laughs> without getting injured. Sorry about that, they're, they're not gonna be back yet. Well, I am starving and thankfully on this RP diet, my breakfast meal is my biggest meal of the day. I have, uh, let's see. Basically the way my uh, program is broken down, is I have rest day, which has my macronutrients, calories that I need to eat. And then I have a training day, which would just be like a strength and conditioning day, about an hour of doing uh, weightlifting. And then the rest of the week or the rest of the days are broken down in uh, an hour run, two hour run, uh, three hour run, and four hour run. That's just when I, when I bought the plan and worked with a coach, that's the way it was broken down. So since right now, uh, I basically use those different hour run, two hour run, three hour, and I use that against whatever other workouts I'm doing. Today I swam for 45 minutes and I ran for an hour. So just under two hours, so I'll use my two hour or 12 mile run and um, I'll just subtract a little bit on the carbs essentially all of the protein, which is four ounces, basically six times a day, and then uh, some veggies, healthy fats, which I'm using peanut butter, almond butter, avocado, olive oil, things like that, and then it's just carbs. So uh, sweet potatoes and uh, whole wheat bread, rice, and oatmeal. That's pretty much my, my carb sources, and fruit. I'm trying to eat more fruit, so let's make some breakfast.
four egg whites, which is essentially two ounces of protein, plus two ounces of chicken, bell pepper, It is time to hit the weights. Feeling recovered, the legs are a little tired, but I'm gonna hit the upper body. Some dumbbell, a little barbell. So because there are no races, I'm really kind of switching it up. I'm focused on a couple of things. Speed on my run and on my swim. I haven't really done that much swimming since the Ironman or half Ironman in December. Working on building that endurance, getting faster. Speed and breaking a five minute mile. And finally, body fat. So more lifting three to four times a week, along with diet, I wanna break that 10% body fat mark. That is it, I am done for the day. That is a swim, track, lifting. Now I need to eat, enjoy the rest of the weekend. I'm thinking beach, let's get some food. So that's it, four ounces, meat, a little mustard, like a little mustard, a whole lot of rice, because I need about 90 grams of carbs and then some veggies with a little bit of breading, so yeah, close enough. Well, I am stuffed. Now, I'm gonna kick back by the pool for a little while, get a little sun, take a dip, and then tonight I am, or this evening, headed down to the beach, hang out with some friends, ride the beach cruisers, hit some of the local spots and just enjoy 